Hey Facebook, we're back again, monthly live show. Uh, it's September, monthly live show, we're on location. And we're going to join the team outside in a second. Uh, it's a very special show this month. It's a busy season, so we've got a jam-packed show. We're at the Sean Connolly restaurant on the rooftop of Dubai Opera. It just opened. It's absolutely stunning. Have a look around. So, uh, this month, there's loads of competitions, loads of stuff happening this month. Uh, to win 600 germs worth a meal and a bottle of wine, tag your friend below. So we'll be on for about 20 minutes. All the people who tag below here uh, will be entered into a draw at the end. So we'll uh, give a few reminders, but Sean Connolly Restaurant, perfect place to come during the week, even when there's an event on an opera, but also every night there's an event on. Come to Sean Connolly Restaurant, prize, win, win uh, 600 gems dinner for two. Cool, so let's have a quick look around. Yes, let's go this way. So we're just, this restaurant's just opening to buy up rare rooftop and we're going to do a live show on the terrace outside. Wait till you see this place, absolutely stunning. View the Burj Khalifa as well. What way are we going? Over here. <laughs> cool, so yeah, so this is the terrace area and you know, the weather's just changing. You've seen all the mist and fog in the last few days. So that's a good sign we think. And by the 1st of October, it's going to be pure alfresco stuff. So, this terrace is absolutely stunning. It's a perfect place to come. And uh, we'll give you a quick look at Burj Khalifa from here. Hey guys, what's up? Hi. Nice to see you here. Hello. 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 Happy Thursday. <laughs> look at that. Okay, amazing. So, yeah. So, We've moved up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, Caitlin, Casey, what's going on? Well, plenty happening. Plenty um, happening. Busy, busy month. So, what, do we, what have we got in store this show? So, we're going to be talking about some of this month's craziest, most popular trending stories. Yeah. We're also going to be talking about what's coming up for the next month, which is really exciting. There's so much, and then we have a little surprise for Richard, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we've also, so we told you about the Sean Connolly competition. We have another surprise competition coming up as well. So if you want to eat here pretty, pretty soon, tag a friend, we'll pick a winner tonight. So yeah, uh, September, how fast has this month been? It's just been non-stop. Oh. It's like we've been catching up for a month, uh, summer months of of kind of a bit of slow pace and now everything's happening. So what's been going on on the website? There's been a couple of really, really big news stories. I think in the last couple of days, the biggest one was the air taxis. Okay, what are they? Have you seen them? I've seen some pictures of stuff, <laughs> but like, do they actually work? Has anyone been on them? Like this, this video came out of an air taxi, which is basically like a, think of a drone, but just like times 100. So there's no driver, there's no one controlling it, and there's two little seats at the front, and it's got 30 minutes of airtime and it just goes. And how do you it's book a test it? run. Do so you do an Uber? Do you, what, what do you do? Okay, so this is a test run. <laughs> I don't even know if they, they haven't answered those questions yet. So they are testing it. They're going to be testing it, rolling them out in the next three years. They have to bring in regulation. Yeah. And then eventually we're going to be Ubering, Kareem. There'll probably be something new. But we're going to, by 2030, they want to have 25% autonomous vehicles. Do you feel that like we've just skipped something here? <laughs> we haven't got automated cars, we haven't got, you know, uh, flying cars, and now we've got not only flying cars, we've got flying cars without drivers. Is it, is it is like all a lot? But like they, tr they tried uh, cars with no drivers, right? But obviously the roads are a little bit diff more difficult to navigate. The skies are open, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> There's no one to crash. It's just a straight to. line, how bad can it yeah. go? Do you, okay, do you think that we're in a kind of a future buzz at the moment in Dubai with like, you know, the future accelerators in DFA have a new program coming up on the 1st of October and got the Hyperloop, got all these things going on. Is this, is this, a, is this a trend in Dubai right now? Yeah, Dubai's the future. <laughs> it's like the, uh, the Mars project, how they're planning to set up a Mars. They've announced they're going to put scientists in Mars conditions, right, in the simulation. Um, just today, I was actually visiting the Seahorse Floating Villas on the World Islands, which are amazing. Yeah. Um, and so they're, jealous. <laughs> they're actually cultivating coral to create these reefs to try and attract more marine life and help clear up the um, haziness of the water. And like it's just so futuristic. Everything they're doing with these submerged villas that are floating and buildings, it's amazing. Yeah, wow, well, that's really amazing. Yeah. And did you see some of the houses, what they're going to be like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I got to see the Swedish island palaces, which are five floors and they're seven bedroom. Hang on a second. Five floors on the water. No, these are different. These are on Swedish, the Swedish oh, island, the oh, on yeah. World Island. Yeah. So the floating villas are going to be 
yeah. at the World Islands, like around the St. Petersburg Island. Yeah. Uh, but the Swedish palaces are, yeah, five floors, seven yeah. bedroom. Um, they're sold out already with yeah. 75 million dirhams. Wow. And uh, some Saudi royalty have actually bought two to build them together. Wow. Because they were like, one's not big enough, I need two. Yeah, amazing. That's well, shocking. Yeah. <laughs> and what else happened in September? What's been big? Well, What's like. Been in the news, trending stories. Trending stories. Another big one was always our list of very big. Yeah. So, one of the biggest ones we had this month, a crazy number of readers, was things residents wish they knew before they moved here. Mm -hmm. This is one of yours, it's so <laughs> funny. Like, there's just ones that you think are obvious. Um, number one, I think, is the metro rules. Oh, yeah, they guys always get stung, right? You always yeah. see men that are tourists in the women's carriage, they don't notice the pink paneling and they're just standing there, not like clueless. Yeah, yeah. number two, Jamera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can just like reel these off, and Kate will be like, oh, for heaven's yeah. sake. There's Jamera, this Jamera, this, like, it is Jamera Lakes Towers, Jamera Village, Ship, Jamera Village Triangle. Jamira, Jamira Beach Road, Jamira yeah. like hotels, uh, Jamira Islands, Jamira Park. You know, so it's. Yeah. I think people when they first arrive here, they don't realize how many. You can't just say Jamira something. Yeah. There's a navigational be theme in that list, I think, because you have Google Maps where Google Maps may not get you to the right place. They might get a little bit skewed. Then you have your Jamiras, and then you say there's two of everything. So there's the Palace downtown. There's. The, so the address got me when I first moved the here. address. Because there's the address Dubai downtown and the address Dubai Mall. And I was like, Dubai Mall's in downtown, so that's the same thing. So I went <laughs> to the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's happened. And there's the Ritz as well. Or yeah. JW Marquis. Marriott I've messed that up in love in Dubai before. Comments do not let me away with this. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the Ritz Carlton too. So Dubai is the only Ritz Carlton, uh, the only city in the world with two Ritz Carltons in one city. Because traditionally they don't allow two in each city, but they made a special exception. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they have another Ritz, no, no two Ritz cards in Seattle. One in Abu Dhabi. Oh, right. And uh, yeah, what, tell us about, um, moving on, moving on. Tell us about uh, Dinky the Cock. Hey, that was a big <laughs> story. So, Dinky the Cock has, has become famous in the world. Yeah, because she had this like adventure. Yeah. She, um, so Donna Bailey, whose parents lost the cat, um, she emailed us and what happened was her parents were moving from Dubai to the UK uh, and taking their cats with them. Yeah. They got to the UK at Gatwick Airport and their cat wasn't there, Dinky was missing. Yeah. They thought that she was missing in Gatwick and that she'd gotten out of her carrier. So looking, 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 I think it was for weeks actually, uh, and then realized that she'd never left Dubai, kind of they'd pieced things together. They worked with Emirates Sky Cargo who brought her over. And uh, so they pieced together that she was still in Dubai. So then her owner flew all the way back and was offering a 5,000 dirham reward for the return of Dinky. I love the dedication. I love it. <laughs> it's like so much love there for his pet cat. Yeah. Uh, so then, yeah, we ran the story, kind of followed up on it, and a lot of people were talking about it. So then one day someone spotted this little fluffy thing in the gardens, all the way 60 kilometers away, right? Yeah. And the owners rushed there, they couldn't quite see her or find her or catch her, um, so the Dubai municipality got involved, helped catch her, and it was Dinky. Oh wow. Ah. Yeah. So the, the cat was on the loose, it wasn't returned by someone, the cat was on the loose. They had suspicions that someone took her when she was at Dubai airport and took her to the gardens and then dumped her. Yeah. But I like to think oh. that she did a little hitchhiking thing yeah. down there. Is that where they lived? lived? Did they live in the gardens? Was she just trying to go home? I thought she was found at Marsha. Marsha. The posts I saw her on the cat. That was Dinky. Anyway, she's been found. <laughs> which is <laughs> so, we're, we're, amazing. So she's found. She's back in the UK now. She yeah, back, yeah, she doesn't look very happy to be home though. Her face is a bit like. <laughs> 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 a bit sad. Might be because she's a Persian cross though, yeah. and they never look happy, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Brilliant. That's, That's the only only person who really knows cats is gonna say that. <laughs> Persian crosses never look happy. That's why yeah, they're just nodding along, telling <laughs> so you know what you're talking about. Don't. Uh, so the happy ending, good story. Uh, we did a foodie vote in September and we had winners. So, and we did a nice little party, we invited the winners together. So tell me, who won the best burger in Dubai? Best burger in Dubai, so this was all user generated. We didn't um, we didn't have anything to do with the short list, well we had something to do. But we took uh, all user generated nominations for the best burger, the best burrito, everything in Dubai, narrowed it down to five, and then asked the public to vote. 
So the best burger was Five Guys. Yeah. And this is uh, thousands of people voted, so this is just it's decided now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't decided. do anything about it. Yeah. The difference to this, as Kate was saying, is that there wasn't any kind of shortlisting. Uh, you know, there was no kind of user critical input. It was it was all individuals. Best burger, uh, five guys, best biryani. Biryani was Naya at Jabir Beach Hotel. Amazing pizza. Huge response to that. We didn't do pizza. No pizza. Uh, burrito. Burrito was Chalco's <laughs> in JLT. Represent. <laughs> we love Chalco's. One of my favorite lunch spots. Three times a day over. <laughs> <laughs> best coffee. Best coffee was Single Fin, which is the cafe within Surf House Dubai. So they, they're really passionate guys. Really cool. Happy and, and the fifth prize went to Mesa Kitchen won best trauma in JLT. And they're good. We, we tried them out. Yeah. They yeah. gave out free little shawlers the next day, which was really something special. So nice. <laughs> so good, so good. Brilliant. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, so I wanna do uh we're doing yeah, we, do a special feature, Casey. Oh, the special feature. So uh, if you've been watching, um, if you're a Reddit follower you'll see that Are oh, we doing the comments? No, so oh, Throughout the month, okay. uh, Richard did this little thing. It's called AMA, which is Ask Me Anything on Reddit. Because we're a bit notorious on Reddit, right? Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of fans. We have fans <laughs> and we have others. It's fine. But, so we tried to do something for Richard today, which is we got the staff of Love in Dubai to put in some funny questions, and it's an AMA for Richard. <laughs> he looks really scared. <laughs> I just didn't know about it. We didn't want it. It's okay. <laughs> and also, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask Richard, you can comment below. I'll be checking them and we'll ask them. So we'll be checking, and the whole point is he doesn't have to answer. If he doesn't answer, he will do a forfeit tomorrow. Okay. That's all. That, that's For Reddit, I signed up, I agreed to it, I did it, and now they've done it to me again with no opt in. I, I unsubscribe. There I is <laughs> there's an opt out, which is a forfeit tomorrow, but that's okay. your choice. Okay. okay. So Do we have a, like, a lucky dip that's just like nothing in it? Or maybe can I There is, a, there, I promise there's one there that's got nothing in it. Can I have um, opera tickets or something? Maybe. Imagine if we could have opera tickets. <laughs> So if you have any questions for Rich, comment below and we'll ask him. Okay. Okay. So Rich, love in Dubai. <laughs> okay. Who is your favorite staff member and why? Uh, my favorite staff member. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling that that's the same question in all of them. No, <laughs> if you want to check, we can go through all of yeah. them. We're doing okay. we're doing three, so. Okay. Uh, and do, you, oh, you can no. also, maybe you can. Okay, uh, favorite staff member. That's really unfair. Uh, I, I can't win. Uh, so uh, we do. We actually do employee of the month every month. So uh, now, now I'm confused. Uh, favorite staff member. I'm right uh, here. I'm your sister. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, Cather. She's uh, she's working on our kind of on our social media team, and uh, she's just really really good, and she. She did some of the kind of Arabic tweets and conversations this week on Love in Saudi, uh, and she's progressed so much, right? Like, Kaiser joined us almost exactly a year ago, and uh, it's unbelievable how much she's progressed. So she's in, she's my favorite at the moment, but uh, don't let it go to your she's head. She's your Kaiser. favorite to take <laughs> on too. Can I say, <laughs> yeah. we, we said that you were going to like, you have like a different favorite at different times, and obviously like Saudi is so relevant at the moment yeah. with the Arabic translation tweets, yeah. so Kaiser is a favorite right now. Yeah. yeah, but you're all my favorite. I love you all. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Let's not make this up. Nice yeah. Okay, two more. Oh, come on. You're doing really well. But we have loads to get through. It's a busy, busy month. We have to do all this. Yeah. All right. Okay, next one. Okay. <laughs> Can you please read this? Is your head shaved by choice or necessity? <laughs> You would think that that would embarrass me, but it doesn't. Uh, You're better uh, than you share. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah. Oh, God, guys. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> um, I'm not bald. I can grow my hair if I want. Next. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, cool. What are we doing? Uh, we Casey, comments in the book. Oh, one more. Go, go, go. One more, Richard. Choose it. There could be tickets for Dubai Opera. I prefer Reddit than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. Okay, so context to this is yesterday, Caitlin did a post about the hottest businessmen in Dubai. Um, you should look it up on our site. There are some pretty handsome men. Yeah. So this question is, do you think you should have been added on the hottest businessmen list? <laughs> uh, so on the hottest list was Tom from Tom and Serge. Yeah, Tom and Paul. Paul Frank Frangie from Happy. Yeah. 
Luke Morris from Wild Woods, yeah. and Tom Arden from Create Media Group. And Dave uh, from Jordan. Jordan. All really nice guys. Uh, no, they're probably better looking than me, but <laughs> you're really, really annoying for not putting me on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have his favourite stuff. <laughs> Guys, like, just be smart about it. Like, you know, but just, you just, 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 just pretend. <laughs> just like pretend. Just massage my ego. Uh, I think yeah. you did really good. Thank you for that. Kaiser put me on the Saudi list. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. you, yeah, what's coming up this month? Uh, so there's loads there's of stuff. Topic. It's really exciting that um, the city's kind of waking up again after a three-month nap. I think. Yeah. Uh, so there's lots of fun outdoorsy things. Uh, most exciting for us is the lock and key party on Thursday. Uh, Thursday coming, it's a singles night, and boys get keys, girls get locks, and you've got to find your corresponding match. You missed it last time, but it was actually hilarious. We kind of took a shot in the dark, and there was, you know, 450 people running around trying to kind of unlock females' chains, basically. Yeah. You know what that's what they call it these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Pretty, know. What yeah, well, that's what they were calling it on the night, but yeah. It was pretty good. McGettigan's, bag it next Friday. Uh, buy tickets online, Eventbrite, or just show up. And it's happy hour all night till 12 o'clock. So pretty cool. Singles night, uh, JLT. Cool. October, what else? Um, this October. weekend, there's yes. October. Love <laughs> 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 Oh, there's so many though. There's yeah. Sports City, Grand Hyatt, and they're all having the big, the usual, the traditional Bavarian music, brass yeah. band, bit big tent. Bit of uh, bit of pretzels, classes. bit of frills, bit of tunes. Yeah, tunes, yeah. <laughs> exactly what you want. Like they really, I think what's amazing is uh, the venues for Oktoberfest in Dubai go all out. Like you don't yeah. need to go back to. Yeah. Or you don't need to go to Munich. Yeah, I fully recommend you check them out. They're they're really really good. Get some bratwurst, get some beers, have fun. Yeah. They even fly in bands from Germany, right? So yeah. it's really fun yeah. and authentic. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I just realized we didn't check any, ask me anything questions from Richard. Because there weren't okay. any. <laughs> cool, guys, I want to do one more competition. We are at the Sean Connolly restaurant. If you do tag your friends uh, below, you can this evening win dinner for two uh, with a bottle of wine for 600 dirhams. So basically, uh, second prize is a really, really cool prize. Sean Connolly restaurant is on the third floor of Dubai Opera. As you know, Dubai Opera has been open over a year and it's had loads and loads of events on here. They, they mix it up, they have classical music, opera. On the 20th of October, they've got popular British bands scouting for girls, performing one night only. So it promises to be a really, really good, uh, really, really good one-off show. I'd, I'd love to go myself, but I probably don't know the answer to this question. So if you answer this question, you win tickets, simple as that. Okay, so the question is, answer in the comments, their hit song is called, This Ain't A Love Song, This Is, what? So one word, comment section, this ain't a love song, this is. And we got meet and greet with the band as well, so it's a proper, what? proper what? Video. Yeah, yeah. Do we get to meet and greet them too? Uh, I'm just gonna write that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, meet and greet, two pairs of tickets. Scouting uh, for girls. Scouting for girls, this ain't a love, love song, it is. I almost what? said it. Did you sing it? Uh, I couldn't actually, <laughs> even if I even if I knew the words. Um, just, yeah, what does it go with this ain't a love song? This is okay. We're pretty bad. But so yes, if you, you want, want the, to tune in. <laughs> if you want the dinner for two, you comment and tag the friend you want to bring. And if you want the tickets, you comment the answer to the question. Right? Yeah, yeah, guys, get on this one. It's you really good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really good. yeah, imagine coming here for dinner, having a glass of wine, and then going to see this saying a love song. It's uh, there we go. <laughs> Next, what we got? So we have. What else? Is, what else is big in October? So we, we talked about Lock and Key, obviously the biggest event of the month, Fifth of October, JLT, McGettigan's. Uh, I mentioned uh, the kind of Dubai Future Accelerator. They have a, a, a new program uh, on the first of, uh, a nine week program, first of October. But the big popular events are? So uh, Fiesta del Muertos is a great one. Um, so it's on the 27th of October, it's a 117 live event, so it's at the Autism Rocks Arena. Has this happened before, Kate? Uh, yeah, it happened yeah. last year and it was a big success. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be huge this year though, they're really, there's a lot more to it. Uh, it's a family friendly festival, they have lots of pop-ups and installations happening, so it's it's a day long. Headliners? Um, Gorillas, amazing, uh, there's okay. going to be Stormzy's. Carly Rae Jepsen is Your coming from friend? 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she asked Kari Ray asked Casey to call her and she said maybe. Um, I was like <laughs> uh, I got to speak to Kari Ray Jessen about it yesterday and the running joke was try and get call me maybe into the conversation, but you just can't. She's onto it now, I think. It's been too long. <laughs> <She's right? laughs> she, she, yeah, she'd have your number and I just feel that you just kinda she seems so down to earth and so cool and she sounds so excited. She said she's heard so much about Dubai does safari. That's like the first thing on her list when she gets here. Cool, you probably like, yeah. beach. <laughs> Where does she live? Canada. Oh wow. Yeah, but she was in Maryland when I called her, I came up on my phone. Okay, amazing. So that's, so that's uh, how do you pronounce it? Rest the festival de Fiesta de la Muerta. What does it mean? Uh Day of Day of the Dead. Oh, because it's Halloween. Yes. Halloween. Halloween so people festival. dress up as well. Amazing. Yeah. What, so at 28th, 27th of October, the following is in the rocks. What yeah, 117live.com for tickets. What else? We have El Chiringuito is having a party, the Nomad um, party this Friday. Yeah. White is starting back, Base is starting back. There's a lot of big clubs, kind of the open air ones are opening up again, which is really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, fashion Great. Forward. Fashion Forward is a good one, yeah. Yeah, it's a big, a big event for fashionistas. I think it's so cool because it's. Um, Creating kind of accessibility between local designers and that real like chic fashion. So it's it's basically Dubai Fashion Week. Yeah. And so very glamorous, very fun. At its custom built venue in D3, which is nice. Yeah. Awesome. Loads to do in October. Make the most of it. Uh, get outdoors as well. Do stuff like that. Okay, so we've got a new segment on this show this month. A new segment, and I feel like it's going to be quite popular because it's basically we take the funniest comments that we read on our YouTube, on our Facebook posts, and we underline them and we've, we, we've we talk a, about them. We've got a funny comment actually because we're at the show in Connolly by Dubai Opera and Claire has written, whenever I hear the name Sean Connolly, I think of Sean Connery. <laughs> when I first read the restaurant, I legit thought it was old mate bringing a restaurant to Dubai. Thanks Claire. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's no, it, it does have a ring to it. You're like, he kind of sounds famous and that, that kind of maybe works for him. Sean Connolly is a Michelin star chef from Britain who uh, made his name in Australia and the type of food here is very kind of British down-to-earth food like massive big carrots and and kind of uh, just good meat good fish Famous for their oysters I think yeah, great oysters stuff like that so it's a really really uh, decent restaurant uh, here in, in Dubai restaurant but it's not from the famous uh, James Bond actor could you do an impression <laughs> of Sean Connery just for the fun <laughs> Bond James Bond <laughs> I wish I'd asked. Yeah, my cute face. <laughs> okay. Wait, I should have tried back, a Scottish yeah. accent. Back to the comments. So, <laughs> we, uh, we put up a great video of a peacock trying to cross the road down in DIFC, I think, and apparently it's really common. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is a little peacock, and he went from one side of a very busy street to the other. And let's see, do you want to read some of the comments? I'll read some of them. These are so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so just so you can see it really quickly, and then we've circled some of the comments. So uh, Robbie McCree says, "Do you have the peacock's permission to post this?" <laughs> what about uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> no was the answer to that one, Robbie. Yeah, but uh, next time, uh, uh, kind of as near said, he was trying to prove he wasn't a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think there's a few more. Uh, Snoogs said the RTA should find him. Yeah. Interesting. How would you find a peacock? Yeah. 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 People are kind of thinking that the peacock has rights. But jay <laughs> jaywalking is a punishable offence in the UAE. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. But like this peacock, you see him strut across the road. He, he's known to residents and people of DIFCs. Like he obviously hangs out there. Or is there more than one? Maybe. Whole family. I thought it was a pheasant first. Is that really silly of me? Are they a little smaller? Are they? It looked like a pheasant, but then I'm going with peacock. Fine. <laughs> That's interesting. So, no, peacock has the really po prominent plumes. Okay. If it's and male, but not if it's female. Oh. <laughs> okay, animal expert. Cheers, Kate. Pay it inside. On to it. our next animal post was this was uh, shared by. Grand Prince Sheikh Hamdan, it was a really great Instagram post of a camel coming into his car and he just fed him something, I think, <laughs> it. and then just the comment made me laugh because it just said, lucky camel, because <laughs> <laughs> Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan was feeding the camel. Um, yeah, context here, the girls in the office are obsessed. He's like a Disney prince. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Tarek, we agree. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Next comment. Okay, the last one in the oh actually there's one more. The last uh, the second last one is about the Mars stimulation city. So you were mentioning it earlier. And so this is part of the UAE space program. Part of that so uh, city it's gonna cost I think in the region of hundreds of <laughs> it's just Good one, case. Yeah. Okay, so check the side for it. Accuracy. She's got it right on the side, not on the show. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, Rodrigo Ferrero says beneath it, it's going to be Dubai style. Where is the valet park? And where is the restaurant for brunch? Where is the gold? Where is Costa Coffee? <laughs> so, so you can build a Mars stimulation city in Dubai, and people still have questions about how you're going to make it better. So where you're going to park? That is that's, that's Dubai that's for you. Dubai, yeah. And actually one more that was kind of part of the AMA, uh, is Love in Dubai being run by guys at Unilad these days? At uh, Unilad, uh, How would you compare? Uh, I don't know, Unilad's a pretty cool new media publication, so yeah, good comparison. Uh, not the same people though, but yeah, <laughs> take it as a compliment. Just a reminder if you want to win Dinner for Two at Sean Connolly at Dubai Opera, tag yeah. the mate that you want to bring along, and if you want to win tickets and a meet and greet. Meet and greet, yeah. To Scouting for Girls. Yeah. You have to answer what is the word missing. It is their smash hit song. This ain't a love song. This is. So the the dinner can. Yeah, this is finished the question. Sorry. No, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was my ellipsis. It's one word comment. The dinner, just to so note, can be used now until January, but we will pick a winner tonight. Awesome, guys. Is that a wrap? Any any parting words we've done? Yeah. Have a great. I've, Casey's got. I've something. got one more. Uh, one of the hottest businessmen commented on the post. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, Luke Morris from Wildwood B, and he said, Luke, "Will you stop parking my show?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'd like to ask Richard Fitzgerald who's better at squash, him or Luke." Sorry, I heard football. Luke, <laughs> Luke, you've got two left feet in football, and uh, squash. Uh, yeah, okay, you got me at that. Fair enough. No cool. one cares about squash anyway. No one cares, Luke. <laughs> okay. No one cares. <laughs> Tomorrow, love and divine. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're done. See you next month. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.